Here's an explanation of the third principle in Chapter 1, Rational People Think at the Margin. So let's take an example of a restaurant, Ellie's Eatery. And let's say that Ellie is thinking about adding a second dining room. So she's going to think at the margin when she's evaluating whether this is a good idea or not. First of all, she's going to think about how much more revenue, what is the benefit, the additional benefit that she would see by adding the second dining room. So the marginal benefit is the additional benefit. And this could be the money that comes in, the revenue, as a result of selling more meals. And she's also going to think about what is the marginal cost related to adding this second dining room. And this could be things, this is the additional cost just related to the second dining room. So let's say that it costs more to uh, prepare the meals and cook the meals in the dining room, in the kitchen rather. And uh, so she's got to maybe hire more cooks. Um, maybe she has to uh, re redesign the kitchen. Um, hire more wait staff. Okay, so these would be additional costs related to adding the second dining room. Okay, so here in this example, her marginal cost is greater than her marginal benefit. And so, in this case, Ellie's Eatery would not go ahead with the project because the marginal cost is greater than the marginal benefit. What are some other ways of evaluating a project? Average cost, total cost, budget, whether it fits in with the budget, whether you have access to that money. There are all kinds of other ways of, of looking at and evaluating the project. But this principle is about one way, and this is an economic way of thinking, and this is thinking at the margin or marginal analysis.